from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. The idea of a civilian review board for Henrico police appears to be dead, and Henrico schools may offer vaccinations in their buildings for some students after all. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute for Monday, May 17th, 2021. It's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. Nearly a year after he first proposed the creation of a civilian review board for Henrico County, Verina District Supervisor Tyro Nelson is withdrawing the concept after he sensed that a majority of the Board of Supervisors would not support the specific type of CRB that he wants. That's what he told The Citizen. It's a story you could have read only on HenricoCitizen.com. The move likely signals the end of the Board's consideration of a CRB for the foreseeable future. Now, Nelson first proposed the Board last June at a time when many localities nationally were Considering the concept after the murder of George Floyd by Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin in Henrico, it prompted a month-long process through which supervisors received written and oral input from hundreds of people about the idea, and a majority of board members in August expressed general support for a CRB but opted to delay further action until the General Assembly took its own action on the matter during its fall special session. Once the Assembly passed a measure in October that permitted localities to create CRBs with investigative and subpoena power, Enrico supervisors in December opted to task Nelson, a Democrat, and current chair Dan Schmidt, a Republican, with discussing the idea in greater detail together during a period of several months. That process is now complete, and despite robust discussions that both men praised as meaningful and exhaustive, they arrived at an impasse. The crux of the stalemate is that Nelson believes the CRB must have investigative and subpoena powers in order to properly weigh allegations of misconduct against police officers, as well as the ability to enact binding discipline of officers. While those concepts did not gain much traction among Schmidt and the board's two other Republicans, Three Chops Tommy Brannon and Tuckahoe's Pat O'Bannon, Democrat Frank Thornton had expressed general support for Nelson's proposal. Now, it seems likely that the board would have been able to create a CRB that lacks those powers. There was enough support for that concept, but Nelson told the citizen that in his estimation, that type of body would serve no real purpose. He said it would only be able to examine reported incidents of possible officer misconduct or excessive use of force that had already been reviewed by the Henrico Police Internal Affairs Unit, but only would be able to say whether it agreed or disagreed with the the decision reached by IA officials and could not even offer a suggested outcome of its own. Schmidt expressed concerns that a board vested with investigative and subpoena powers could create situations in which as many as three concurrent investigations might be taking place in cases involving alleged criminal misconduct by an officer. Those would be conducted potentially by the Internal Affairs Unit, the Commonwealth's Attorney, and the Civilian Review Board. Schmidt said he would support a CRB that had the power to review all available facts and evidence in non-criminal misconduct claims and then issue its own opinion or recommendation before, but not after, the chief of police determined what punishment, if any, to levy on the officer in question. You can read a whole lot more about this topic on HenricoCitizen.com right now by clicking on News and then Government. At the Henrico School Board meeting on Thursday, officials indicated that parents who want to have their children 12 and older vaccinated should take them to the Richmond Raceway Complex for one of the remaining events scheduled there this month or to other locations that are offering the vaccine. It appeared that the school system was not planning to offer vaccines in its buildings, but late yesterday afternoon, Henrico School spokesman Andy Jenks told the citizen that, in fact, School officials are planning to offer vaccinations to students who want them at middle schools before the end of the school year and also planning to make the vaccine available at its middle school summer academy sites in July. Jenks said that when schools have vaccines available, they'll be back in touch to let families know. 
And before your next trip to a Henrico restaurant, why don't you check out our Henrico Restaurant Watch. We publish it weekly on HenricoCitizen.com. It'll give you the latest health reports and inspections for Henrico restaurants. You can find it by clicking on the Dining tab on our website. Today's Henrico News Minute is brought to you by Henrico County, which is asking you, how do you want to hear from the county? Visit publicinput.com backslash Henrico News to take a brief survey.